Hello, welcome to my channel. With the start of 2021, there's a growing trend in UX design called glass morphism, which is the screen that you see in front of you. Uh, we're going to try and make this screen in Adobe XD. So let's get started. In Adobe XD, I've created this uh, artboard with uh, 1920 pixels, 1920 and 1080. Uh, it's a predefined uh, artboard, but uh, let's create a new one. So click on this button over here and then you'll see the options to create new artboards these are the predefined options you can scroll down and select the web version uh, you already have it an important component of glass morphism is a really um, saturated well colored background so i have one an image with me that we're going to use to start with we're just going to create a rectangle like so and um, going to give it some border i'm not worried about the exact number over here so let's position that uh, in the center uh, right and now let's focus on the fill so this is going to be the background or the essence of our glass morphism where everything is going to blur out so the important thing to note here is that in the fill of this rectangle, instead of using a solid color, we're going to use a linear gradient. So let me just arrange the gradient colors like so. Um, we're going to use white for both the ends of the gradient. So I'm going to switch all the way to white. And um, for this corner over here, I'm going to reduce the transparency or I should say I'm going to reduce the opacity, the fill opacity of this end up to 5%. And for the other one, I'm going to leave that at white as well and reduce the fill opacity to about 50%. The reason behind this is that let's say there's a light source coming from this end over here. So the end that is closer to the light source is going to be brighter and then that it's farther away, it's going to be darker. You can choose to change the light source and that way accordingly, um, these directions will change. All right, so let's keep it this way. What I'm going to do next is um, have a really white border, but a really faint border so that if you see a glass piece of glass in real life, the ends, they do reflect the light ever so slightly. And so to emulate that, I'm just going to leave that. It's not perfect, but it's good for now. All right. Um, the next thing what I'm going to do is use this background blur. And uh, so in background blur, um, you have two options over here. So we aren't going to choose object blur. We're going to choose background blur. The amount of blur is what you see over here. Like the background is going to be blurred by that much. I'm going to increase that all the way. And um, the brightness is um, in real world, you could say like the amount of tint that you have in this one. So I'm going to leave right at zero or plus or minus one that's fine now the opacity for this blur um you can say that uh, the amount of frostedness in the glass so i'm going to leave at about 10 percent let me show you what that looks like with with a circle so i'm going to click create an ellipse real quick and i'm going to arrange that behind the glass so that's what it looks like now let me give it a fill color so i'm just gonna use the eyedropper tool and to create more contrast i'm gonna use this and that's how it looks so um just to show you what it looks like the edges are going to blur out a lot and that's what we want in glass morphism all right so i'm just going to make a copy of this on the other end as well and just going to change the fill color using the eyedropper tool and going to use this color just to create some contrast so there you have it that's the that's the concept of glass morphism and um, it's that easy so we would use this uh, this rectangle as the base for our glass morphism objects and uh, i'm just going to add a new add one button 
So let's say you're designing an onboarding screen and uh, you want uh, to use the concept glass morphism over there. And so we have this button over here with a really bright background. I'm gonna give it um, a color which is not there on this image. So let's say green, for example. And um, I'm gonna add a text over there. Let's say get started. Increase the use of font of Roboto. Increase the font a bit and I'm going to change the fill color to white. S arrange it in the center. Let's see. So I'm going to select these two and use these tools over here to arrange them vertically align them properly all right now i'm going to group them together and um, let's go into the layer panel so i can get into that i'm going to give this rectangle a really small shadow so the direction of the shadow is going to be it it, it depends on where how you set the this rectangle up remember this fill direction. So this is where the light source is and this is where the dark area is. So for this rectangle too, I'm gonna to have the arrow or the shadow go towards this direction. So let's try to, let's try to make that. All right, so I'm gonna give minus two and um, minus five and I'm gonna blur it out. I'm gonna give the color of the shadow and this one, I'm just going to darken it. And uh, let's see where it is. It went the other way. All right. So what I'm going to do is, let's see. Okay, there you go. Maybe the color is too background. Too dark. So yeah, and reduce the opacity a little bit. So there you have it. All right, so there you go. That's all you need to do to get started with glass morphism. Any more objects that you add over here, apart from this button, the background will be blurred due to this rectangle. And that's all you need to know for glass morphism. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. And if you want to start with this file, I'm gonna include a link for this file down in the description so you can get started with that. Please consider subscribing to my channel. I've got a few more videos lined up. So see you there. Thank you.